Hey Ben. Yes. Can I borrow that little foil dinosaur? Oh sure. Just don't pull it. Oh sure. Okay. No problem. Why you? Hey, hey, stop that, especially you, Ben. that those bully thoughts are really getting to me. It's taking a little of your thoughts right now. Yeah. You know, um, maybe, maybe it would be helpful for me if you could tell me more about the thoughts that have been bothering you specifically. Okay. Um, see, there's this demon out there in uh, the underworld named Virgoris. He wants to like end violence by destroying the universe. And he might find someone that will have the similar feeling as him. But then there would be this hero who saved the universe. But I can't really think about that. So, oh, that works. You don't know. You don't need to know now. Um, how this going in? It seems like the main thing that you're doing this for right now is expressing how angry, how incredibly angry and touch your anger and maybe some of your hurt feelings too. So how's Yuki today? Hmm. You mean this little creature? Well, she's dirty. <laughs> well, you've had her for a very long time. Hey Yuki, how are you doing today? How are you worried about me? I know, it's only because I think most of everyone disrespects me. I 
I don't know. Well, okay.
Well, I guess we should be getting some sleep. Wait, but I want to tell you guys a scary story that I think you all will like. That sounds good, but is it too scary? Let's find out. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, in the middle of a dark, cold night, a lonely woman was trying to find her way home when suddenly she heard strange noises in the distance. Then out of nowhere, a ghost popped out. The ghost was wrapped in rusty chains and covered in blood. He had a demonic expression on his face. When she saw him, she was frozen with horror. He let out a huge moan and began draining the life force from her body. She crumpled to the ground and got weaker and weaker until her life force was completely consumed and that all that was left for was a dusty corpse. That was too scary. I hope it doesn't give me nightmares. Nightmares. That story was cool, but ghosts and monsters don't actually exist, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh yes they do. Oh yes they do. My grandfather saw a dragon when he was little younger. Well, my aunt once told me that she got attacked by demons, but she survived. Okay, let's just all go to sleep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Monsters is an awesome movie. But well, let's check on the news. Mm, okay, let's see what's on the news. This is Sako Takahashi reporting live from Tokyo Ichiban. A giant red meteorite has been spotted in the skies above Tokyo. Hold on, I'm just receiving new information. Astronomers have now confirmed that the object approaching Tokyo is not a meteor. A team of leading demonologists has proposed that the object approaching us is in fact a living demon. We do not know when this creature that they have named Baragoras will arrive, but people on the streets of Tokyo are beginning to panic. But why would he do that? Because he wants to destroy the universe. But why would he choose Ben? I don't know, but we've got to stop him. Let's get out of here. Urgent report. A giant red monster with an almost human-like appearance is rampaging the Bay Area. Do not know why it is here, where it came from. All people must leave the Bay Area at once, as requested by the military general. I have a really bad feeling about this. I need to go make sure I'm not right about this.
destroy it. We respect you. And we don't want you to be angry anymore. We want you to live. We want you to be good. We don't want you to destroy the universe. Ben! Why are you being so angry? I read this story and it feels like it's painful to remember people who have made me feel this way about Barry Gorris. I know you can. I know. No, I am not an intention beggar. You know that. You know that. You know that. I'm not an intention beggar. I'm better than you. I'll be better than this dinosaur. Oh God, Nikki, I'm sorry. I don't know what got to me. I just had a nightmare that someone called me a kitchen beggar. It's all because I need help. E toilet paper. Here's Benny! Hey, Yuki, what the heck are you doing with the toilet paper? Mm -hmm. Yuki, you know I'm going to have to play with toilet paper. You know that. You're like older than me, I think. Hmm, I wonder what's next in my series of Ben Yuki. Daddy! Hi! Scary! No! Scary! No! One time, there was a little Benny Jenny named Chester, and he was about to go away because his mother was busy. <laughs> then what? Well, Chester, we're about to begin the story of when you were born. Ready? Okay, let's start. One day, Yuki had a bowl. This bowl was apparently magical. And Yuki only had it because she was bored. I'm bored. So she did something to it. Play. After she spat in the bowl, she started mixing it. 
Then she made it warm, similar to a bird. But that one happened, Daddy. Well, Chester, let's just say, you were born. Here I am on the earth. And that, my son, is how you were born. Yay! Okay, Yuki. Okay, you you can stay with me. Yay! Hey, why the heck do you squish like that? Blueberry muffin. Cheeseburger. Blueberry. Cheeseburger. Blueberry. Cheeseburger. Blueberry. Ah! I never eat Yuki, right Yuki? Hey Ben, how you doing? I don't know how you doing. Well honestly, everything's not so great, you know, uh, stuff keeps happening and, uh, you know, the usual. Well if you need any advice, just go, come talk to me, okay? Okay. Get off of him, Yuki. What's going on here?
What have we done, Ben? I we don't just know. hurt Yuki. I don't know. We should go up to that hill over there and find out what happened. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry I hurt you, Yuki. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you made me think, eh? I just love you so much. I won't do it again, okay? Ah, uh, it's okay, Yuki. Give me a big hug! Sounds like two things, doesn't it? But it's actually one. I've been letting my mind get to me. Sometimes it's like a bully that that tries to uh, scold me for my actions, no matter how good it may be. I think the best solution is to make this thing big. This is supposed to be very voice, but you don't have any wings or tail. This way, there's only one. It's really scary, but he's actually a good guy, so let's be good. Hmm. You can understand. Oh, hey there, Ben. How you doing? What the? Well, your presence makes me come to life. What? Yes. You are an alien, remember? I got an idea, Ben. Why don't you just write a novel? I know you tried that before and it never worked, 
But you can always try again. Where's my girl? Hey, where's my girl? I don't know. Okay. You're chewing gum. I know you took my gum in the past. I didn't need to steal your gum, I'm really honest. You took my gum! <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> hey Ben, you know what I think? You're a blockhead! here? No, why? Because of Monster Island? Godzilla? Yes, we're here for the Son of Godzilla, Manila!
Don't get out of here. Go to city. Daddy! Daddy! Hey, what are you doing there, Daryl? I want Daddy to come out. Sorry, Daddy, but Ben needs to use the bathroom. Well, I don't care. <gasps> Hard with that Bear Gore's voice stuck in my head. I'll have to work on it later. Did you see my candy? No, I did not see your candy. Did you see my candy? No, I did not see your candy. Hey guys. Why are you working with Gabe? Did you ever learn about that story? 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 Oh my goodness. I'm taking a break. Wow, we really messed up big time, didn't we? and then we'll go apologize to him, okay? All right.
guys two things to represent that story. Man, man, hey, there's that robot that man was making. What happened to him? Did you hear that? Yeah, I sure heard it. Like a Jurassic period. What is that? Deserted. Wonder why I'm here. Hmm. Nothing but gloominess around here. Oh no. What is that? So this is a time tracker. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes we have cruise member of the week. The cruise member of the week is Yuki. Hi. Oh, hi, Yuki. Hey, where are you going? Oh, by the way, I haven't properly introduced myself. My name is Beta, the robot girl. I wanted you to come to the ship just so that my evil brother would stop overruling the universe. Brother? Wait a minute. How do you even know my name anyway? There's something you need to see. This is the first draft of my story. How the heck did you even get to it? 
Well, first of all, we're all robots. Do you know who created them? You! Yeah, you! Alfie's waiting for you in the office. He wants to talk to you. Alright, Alf. What the heck do you even want from me? I ain't going to tell you, Ben. I will only tell you if you fight my zombie army! <sighs> what do you think of that, Alf? All right, Ben, I'll explain. Even though Ben already explained that you created me, I was basically influenced by your ideas, the bad ones. And by being influenced, I just wanted to rule the universe. Yes, I was the one controlling that Baragor's fights. Well, that explains everything. Should we change our ways? Demon and dragon, you know. What are we gonna do now, Ben? Well, I've been thinking. <gasps> <laughs> story. You deserve it. Okay then.
Who the heck was shooting at me? Mr. Soretta? You have been arrested for trying to shoot at somebody. What do you mean? I was a victim. See guys, that's footage of me when I was about to get shot and I wasn't even holding the gun. What were you two thinking of hiring that judge against me? What is wrong with you? That looks like a spaceship of some sorts. We are coming from endless world. We have come to destroy you. Now we get you first. Blah. We got a... Congratulations, you just butt-headed me. Eh. Let's take a look at what's inside that ship. <gasps> Darn it! Are you one of the aliens that are sent out to destroy me? Oh, okay then. Never mind. Sorry. Was unexpected. Let's move on. Hello, Ben. My name is Evil Ben. <laughs> Where's your weapon? Mine is a gun. No hope. No weapon.
There's gotta be a breaking point. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, man. Guys, look, there's a bridge. Let's go cross it. I don't know. Me neither. Let's go. Whoa, this is a very unsteady bridge. What's that noise? Uh oh. My goodness, this book is right. I don't believe in peace, Ben. You peasant. I believe in war. Fight my tanks before convincing me otherwise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 